Hey everybody, I'm sitting here in front of my trusty voiceover microphone and gaming computer because it is time for the inaugural Cloth Map Spotlight, which is a, uh, a new video series that we're starting here to uh, kind of go more in depth with uh, a game, or in this case, a series of games. Um, oftentimes when we, we bring up a game in a cloth map feature video, uh, it goes by pretty quickly. So if you're not familiar with that game, it can be kind of confusing. So um, the Spotlight series, uh, and well, one of the reasons it exists is to kind of uh, give more context uh, to those games um, ahead of a video. So the next Mongolia video is going to feature Counter-Strike in like a, uh, an esports context. So uh, just to get everybody on the same page, um, I'm going to uh, take a look at the series today. And, you know, even if you do know a lot about Counter-Strike, um, maybe you'll be like me and just enjoy the uh, nostalgia trip. So uh, please enjoy the first episode of Cloth Map Spotlight. Here it is, Counter-Strike. Uh, I am very <laughs> excited to be showing this game off. Uh, it has a uh, holds a, a special place in my heart. Um, I would say it's the first real multiplayer game that I played way back in uh, in, in my high school days. Uh, I remember a, a friend of mine handing me a burned CD of the PC game Half-Life uh, and saying, ignore that, but go download Counter-Strike, it's a, a free mod, uh, and then we can play this super cool terrorist versus counter-terrorist uh, shooter game online together. Uh, and that was uh, that was the end of that. Um, Counter-Strike is notable for uh, really a lot of reasons, but um, I would say gameplay-wise, uh, in that you are, you're not just shooting each other, you are trying to, as the terrorist team, I am trying to plant this bomb at either bomb site A, here uh or bombsite b let's go look at uh bombsite b i, I started up a, a local server here so uh there's no one else that'll <laughs> interrupt me by uh killing me um while i'm trying to describe this um yeah so even in there are a bunch of other game modes um like a vip escort or a hostage rescue um but really uh the bread and butter of counter-strike is is the bomb uh game modes so this is dust 2 uh which is um a, a real classic map. I think Dust 2 occurs in basically every future iteration of Counter-Strike, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a classic. I actually really like the original Dust as well, which is also in this game. Um, this, this game, uh, again, is a, uh, was originally released as a free mod made by um, some fans um, for the PC game Half-Life. Counter-Strike originally came out in uh, 1999. They, the team was acquired by Valve, and they eventually um, uh, put out a retail release of the game. Let's go watch this bomb explode over here. Boom! Even though I died, I still won. Um, yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, another um, key thing about Counter-Strike is uh, this buy menu. So you actually earn money for for over there in the lower right corner. You earn money from uh, with kills, um, and I think with um, with blowing stuff up uh, as well. Uh, you can buy uh, body armor and a helmet here to uh, prevent uh, headshots from being as effective. Um, there's tons of weapons as you saw, um, but uh, yeah, some some servers you'll see just give you uh, infinite money, so you can just buy whatever you want. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is uh, this is Counter Strike. Uh, you know, I I think it was one of the early games where um, I really wanted to perfect and get good at it. Uh, so you can see here, my my crosshairs will get larger if I walk. It's pretty common nowadays, but back then it was like, whoa, that's pretty cool. Uh, and you know, if you shoot, your crosshairs will get uh, larger too. Um, <clears throat> and you also notice those bullets climb up there. Uh, if you're really good, let me reload here, you can uh, shoot and then move your mouse down to try to concentrate and um, uh, compensate for that muzzle climb. Uh, that's how that's how the pros do it. Um, but uh, yeah, what do you say we jump into a real server here? All right, so uh, I'm now in a server. I just did an auto buy here to, uh, I'm not real particular about my guns. Um, I just want to play. Uh, you never really know what you're going to get when you join a Counter-Strike server. Sometimes servers will install uh, weird rules um, <laughs> that change the way the game is played. Uh, I don't know. Ooh, my teammate just got smoked over here. Oh, no, that was a bad guy. Okay, good. Well, 
well, I guess I'm the bad guy because I'm a terrorist. Um, I don't have the bomb, but one of my teammates does. That's a bad guy. Um, type slash knife in chat to change your knife model. See, that's what I mean. Um, things can things are different with every every server you join. All right, let me show off uh, one of the uh, legendary weapons of Counter-Strike. This is uh, it's, it's known here as the Magnum Sniper Rifle, but uh, colloquially, it is called the AWP. Uh, this is uh, so legendary because it is one shot, one kill. Um, I'm definitely not going to get a kill here because these guys are too good, but that's what it sounds like. Uh, it doesn't have a reticle, you'll notice, if you're not zoomed in. So a, a no-scope AWP is... Uh, that's... Oh. See if I can get one. Nope. Uh, yeah, that's that's the sign of someone who's who's real good or uh, real lucky. And if we go back to the server browser here, uh, look how many servers are still running Counter Strike 1.6. This is how popular this thing is. Uh, and even if I filter by like uh, latency, there's still a lot. Or let me let me filter by just. Dust 2. Look at that. So contrast that with the server list for Counter-Strike Condition Zero, which I have never actually played. Uh, this is sort of the forgotten Counter-Strike uh, version, I guess. It was released in 2004, had sort of a troubled development history. Um, free for all, that's FFA. French, German, okay, it may be popular in other places. It seems. Oh, here's some. Okay, some uh, some 24/7 servers. Uh, 88 ping. Let's just hop into that one, shall we? Um, <clears throat> yeah, really uh, poor reviews. I think for Condition Zero, uh, it is not very well remembered. Um, uh, I think four different development studios uh, worked on this game, so that's never a good uh, never a good sign. And also, it came out in March 2004, but and was eclipsed by Counter Strike Source. Uh, which was basically a remake of Counter-Strike in the brand new Source engine. So, um, yeah, this just, I mean, this is, I guess it looks a little, yeah, this, okay. Maybe updated textures. Um, how many players we got here? Okay, cool. You hear the bomb about to go off. Yeah, okay, this looks a little better. But, I mean, so many people were already playing 1.6. I don't know why you would switch to this necessarily. Uh, huh. Okay. All right. Don't have enough money to do the AWP, uh, but I'll just auto buy. See what he gives me. All right. What is that? The M4? Yeah. Uh, so if you hear my footsteps, I can hold shift to walk and then be quiet because other people can hear my footsteps. Uh, I can also crouch and do the same thing. Uh, I've got a secondary weapon here, which I can swap to quickly with the Q button, uh, and also my knife, which I can uh, bring out to run a little faster. Okay. Uh, my team is so good, they didn't even need me, which, frankly, I am probably a, uh, a liability at this point. Let's see if we can get one kill. Oh! smoked. All right, enough of that. This is Counter-Strike Source. As you can see, it is also still quite popular. This came out in uh, November of 2004 with the brand new Source engine. Um, it was also the first time I really got a look uh, at that, uh, that brand new engine. I remember playing Counter-Strike Source and um, uh, let's pick this one. Uh, and, like shooting a guy and then seeing his body slump up against the wall with physics and being totally blown away. Um, okay, sure, sure. Uh, all right, cool. We got first person spectator view here so you can see what <laughs> people who are good at Counter-Strike, how they play. Uh, you can see it already looks way better. Um, hit the buy button here. I'll just continue to auto buy. Looks like I got some Kevlar, a diffuser kit, um, diffusal kit, uh, and some extra ammo here. I should have bought some grenades. 
Ah, oh, I just got flashbanged. Oh, man. Oh, that guy has an America's Army logo. That's great. Um, yeah, there's another classic weapon, the uh, the Desert Eagle. Or Deagle, as it's known. Uh, I don't pretend to know what's going on in the, the subculture of Counter-Strike. There's so... Like, it's been around for so long, and so many people uh, are, are fans of it that it's just... Um, you know, impossible to keep up with. Uh, especially now that uh, Counter-Strike has... Uh, ascended into the esports realm. I think it was like a really early uh, 1.6, especially was was um, you know one of the early esports games. So uh, and it has continued. I think Source was for a little while. I think the 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 current gold standard is uh, Counter Strike uh, Global Offensive, um, which we will look at in a moment. Let me buy uh, a grenade just so we can just so we can throw it. Oh, sir. I threw a grenade in there. So in Counter-Strike, you can actually shoot through walls. It'll it'll definitely uh, reduce the amount of damage that your bullets do, but, um, and I think only some weapons can, uh, can shoot through walls. Uh, that might vary from game to game. Oh, oh, I'm exposed. You know, I think the, um, the, uh, the thinking would be Jumping into uh, Source or 1.6 right now would just be impossible because the people there playing it have been playing for years and years. Um, I think that's probably true uh, to, to some degree. Like, you're not going to lead a server uh, unless, you know, some uh, shooter wonderkind. But um, it's still, you know, pretty possible. As I say that, I, uh, I got a kill there. So I wouldn't, you know, if you want to jump into this, these games are super cheap nowadays. Um, uh, Source is still pretty good. 1.6, you know, looks pretty retro, but if you're into that, uh, it's still a solid game. But yeah, I, I wouldn't be afraid of this uh, necessarily. But if you did want to jump into where uh, modern Counter-Strike is, I think you'd want to hit up Global Offensive. So yeah, immediately you can see this looks way different. Uh, this game came out in 2012. Um, and is currently the, uh, yeah, the gold standard for uh, eSports. Actually, they have an entire button devoted to eSports where you can see um, uh, different tournaments going on and even uh, like open up a, uh, a Twitch uh, stream. So this one has 12,000 viewers. Wow, yep, there you go. That just opens a Twitch page and uh, we can watch some, some eSports play. So you can also jump into, uh, uh, I guess this works a lot like um, Dota 2 does, where you can actually watch uh, a tournament in the game client. Uh, so you just click watch live here and it'll load just like uh, it would if you were playing because it's actually loading, uh, you know, an actual match um, instead of a video. But instead of playing, you'll just be a spectator. So here we go. Yeah, I mean, you got you got the score up at the top. Uh, a dynamic camera is zooming around to different players. Uh, who were okay? We're watching Sola here. That looks like an esportsman. Vastly updated graphics. Uh, you know, look at that ragdoll. I think it does lose quite a bit. Uh, you know, when you don't have the commentary. But I guess if I was uh, super into competitive Counter-Strike, I would know what was going on, but, um, the thing about first-person shooters is, especially one where there's an objective like this, like, bomb the bomb site, it's pretty, uh, easy to follow, uh, but I don't... Oh! I think you'd have to watch quite a bit, uh, to really understand the strategy, and, and to know the maps, you know? Like, you can see these guys, uh, hiding in certain spots, uh, checking certain locations, memorizing sight lines, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, it, it's cool that they integrate this esports uh, stuff into this because um, that's the kind of stuff that really makes uh, watching uh, esports a lot easier to do. But what do you say we jump into our own match, see how we do? Uh, we got a lot of options here. We could jump into uh, official matchmaking, bot practice, a training course, which is just, uh, you know, pretty standard. A lot like other uh, game tutorials or um, 
yeah, first person shooter tutorials, like a weapon range, that kind of thing. Uh, kind of cool that they have that for Counter Strike, um, and they don't assume that you know you've been with the series since 1999. Um, yeah, competitive, casual. What do we got here? Oh, you could just there's just a Dust Two option. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, work uh, arms race is kind of cool. Uh, yeah, Danger Zone is or yeah, Black Sight is basically a uh, a battle royale mode. Maybe we'll jump into that after. But yeah, let's just. Just for, you know, comparison's sake, let's jump into Dust 2. So rather than joining specific servers, um, this uh, does like a matchmaking service. So uh, I don't know. I got in nice and fast, but um, I kind of like being able to choose from a big old list, you know, and sort by ping, that kind of thing. Call me an old man. So uh, Global Offensive has a lot of uh, new and different weapons, um, which I imagine you'll see here. Uh, they also have the real names of the guns, like P90 and uh, UMP45. Um, but yeah, look at all these weird things. But you can actually, it's cool that they surface like damage and fire rate and stuff. Uh, in the past, you would have to just kind of test things out and see. I have a thousand dollars, what can I do? Oop, no SMGs. Uh, let's, uh, sure. No, nah, let's get the Desert Eagle, why not? We haven't wielded one of those yet today. Uh, it looks like they dumped me into a match with uh, a couple guys and some bots, so... Oh, wow. All right, so... Yeah, this looks way different, mostly because there's more colors here. But this is, uh, this is Bombside A. Uh, we are on the counter-terrorist team. I'm gonna crouch so my crosshairs get smaller. Check your corners. Stay frosty, etc. I was a bot, but I'll take it anyway. Oh no, okay. Ugh! Okay, I'm gonna get a replay kill cam here. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, think about the Desert Eagle does not have a big magazine. So, all right, we got some, some more money here. Uh, how much we got, 28.50? Sure, give me that P90. And uh, you know what? We'll roll with that. Okay, I'm watching my map in the upper left. Uh, one of my teammates just got killed. Here I am at bombsite B. What's your status? Scared, sir. Even when crouched, my uh, crosshairs are still kind of big, so P90, not a good long range weapon. Oh no, okay. Oh. Oh, hello. Ooh, what is that? Oh, the AUG, okay. I like the AUG. It's got a scope on it. Um, oh, I don't have enough money. Let's try, let's try this one, SSG-08. Oh! Oh, it was a bot, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. What do you say we hop into uh, a, um, a battle royale mode? That seems really weird. Oh, yeah. And I guess you earn... Uh, you earn XP. Uh, that, I guess, contributes to cosmetic upgrades? I don't know. I haven't played a lot of Global Offensive, but, um, you know, preparing for this uh, video, I've played a little bit, and... Uh, Man, it's still Counter-Strike, and I still really like Counter-Strike, so uh, who knows? Maybe I'll get, maybe I'll get way into uh, Counter-Strike Global Offensive. It, it'd be, I mean, I think if I were to do one, either I'd go with 1.6 just for nostalgia's sake, or, uh, or maybe this one, because um, it'd be kind of cool to, to know the, the real intimate ins and outs of like all the weapons and uh, the new maps and stuff, and then be able to watch... Um, competitive tournaments. I think that'd be really fun. And, you know, as as I've gone around uh, on trips and, like, poked my head into uh, internet cafes, a lot of people are still playing Counter-Strike. Um, and it's either... I think it's... I think I've mostly seen 1.6, honestly. Um, but I, I think uh, esports is, is, has drifted into uh, global offensive. 
So here you go. Um, it's your it's your traditional <laughs> top down view of a battle royale map, uh, except this time we're we're coming in from a helicopter, not a uh, not a plane, and we just get to pick our spot here. So um, I'll pick. Uh, uh, I don't know. Um, here, I guess. Sure. Uh, it's also much smaller than traditional, I guess, Battle Royale games. Uh, oh man, my partner is all the way over there. Two-man teams. Uh, and it's only, I think, 17 players per game. Um, so yeah, much, much smaller. But a, a lot of the hallmarks of Counter-Strike um, are still here. Uh, I do like faster open from a helicopter. Uh, most notably, I think the buy menu. So we start with 500 bucks uh, and you either, um, and you got a map here. Uh, you either pick up money that's just laying around on the ground or you do things like rescue hostages that you come across or, uh, or bomb things. Um, there's a gun. Okay, the Glock 18 with seven bullets. Fear me. And of course, uh, the ever shrinking play area. There are supply crates just hanging around that you can punch to open. Oh, and check this out. Uh, this game has um, med packs, which is real weird for Counter-Strike. Uh, okay. The red ones you need to uh, shoot to open. I'm gonna keep my Glock because it has more ammo. And I'm going to run far away from that red stuff because that alarm is about to go off and I'm going to get uh, destroyed. I think the really cool thing about this mode um, uh, is that it's still, it still feels like Counter-Strike. Uh, boy, I really should have waited to pick up that uh, ammo before I picked up the P90. But the cool thing is I can just go over here and buy some ammo and it will be delivered to me uh, by my friendly drone. Although, of course, that uh, will alert anyone in the vicinity uh, that uh, that I am over here. So a yellow hexagon means there's a person in that zone. Whether that's you or another enemy, uh, the map doesn't tell you. So there's my drone on his way. Here he is. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Sweet. Ah, yes, a whopping 32 bullets. So let's go this way, see if we can... Aha! Hey, buddy! Yes! And I got his loot box. Uh, I don't know how popular this is, but um, I have been getting into matches pretty quick, so I imagine it's... Uh, Reasonably popular. It is a free-to-play game, so uh, that does increase your, your player base. Okay, we got a supply drop here. Does that mean there is going to be more people around? Oh. Don't mind if I do. Where are you going? It got me. Third place, I'll take it. Woo! That was tense. So yeah, that's a look at that's a look at Counter Strike, all the permutations thereof. Um, hopefully that will give everybody a sense uh, as to what we're talking about when it shows up in various cloth map uh, videos, which it's uh, which it's going to for the next 
Mongolia piece for sure. Um, Counter-Strike is a, a popular thing around the world. Um, and I think, you know, has a lot of staying power and uh, even more so now that, you know, it seems like esports is really uh, latched onto it. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me on this walk down memory lane. Mm -hmm, memory lane. And if you'd like to play any of these Counter-Strikes, um, Counter-Strike 1.6, Condition Zero, and Source are all $10 individually on Steam. Uh, but Counter-Strike Global Offensive is free. So, uh, yeah, if you want to jump on board the CS train, that's how you can do that. And maybe I'll see you uh, on some weird Russian server sometime.